five, four, three, two, one. Hello, hello, hello. Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox on the Series X. And this is my large grid ship that we were building as part of my tutorial series. And pretty much it's complete in terms of a cockpit and engines and it can fly. And it doesn't look very good in terms of aesthetics because it is just boxes with boxes inside them. But before we look at that, somebody on my YouTube channel asked about transferring fuel from a fuel station to ship tanks. So I've set up a little demo here of a system simulating a connected ship with a half full fuel tank and a full fuel tank here and all you need to do fill this tank up is to toggle its stockpile setting any tanks that are set to stockpile will drain other tanks in the system so if I switch stockpile on here on this one uh, hold on let me just do one thing first I need to turn stockpile on this one off as well otherwise I won't be able to transfer the fuel so remember that if you've got two tanks like this and they're on stockpile it won't work now I've got stockpile on the one at the bottom as well so if I hit the shortcut here, you'll see the lights on the right tank will turn blue. And if we go into the control panel and we look at my demo tank, you'll see it's filling with the fuel that was in the fuel station tank, which is now 50%. So conversely, if I turn off that and turn that on and go back to the control panel, you'll see that I can swap fuel from one tank to another and if I just want to fill both tanks and I don't want anything pulling from the system if both are on stockpile then they will pull fuel from these generators into the system and hold them and nothing connected to it will draw that hydrogen out until you turn stockpile off that's a quick demo um, for uh, Kaz on the YouTube channel here however is the ship you remember ship itself give a name I can't remember whether or not we named the ship or whether or not I just named the ship specifically for that episode a look possible that we lost the name when we uh, did things it doesn't matter what we have here though is the subject of today's video which, if I just change my time of day by bringing up the admin menu, you can do that simply with RBY. We have a cockpit. I don't want that anymore. The purpose of today's video is going to be, and if you're going to do this in survival, bear in mind that you'll be grinding everything down no shortcuts on survival at all we are going to I want to leave that one block there remodel front of this ship somewhat first of all I'm going to seal off 
this. Oh, here for now. I can see what I want to do with it. And then I might delete some blocks and change the way things look. But for now, we want to delete that again. And I want to pull this forwards. Hmm. Four or so blocks. Maybe five. And bear in mind, we're also going to have to adjust our field on the ship to encompass this new place. Is that going to be too long or not? Let's have a look, shall we? me as I work this through in my head. That'll give us a nice stable platform to work with. What we want here as well, um, I think, for the bridge, is we're going to have ourselves an event. Then judging the height now of where I would like the bridge ceiling. Yeah. I'm tempted to bring it in this least back wall I mean they don't have to be too um, high the front what do I echo the front like this and if you want to make things just a little more interesting locks like that we're going to need to drop in the door um, one of those doors or we can go for one of these And any good ship is going to need a way to control it. Now you'll notice that when you put windows in, by the way, you can't put one of these control seats right up against windows. So leave a gap. Now we could just do a whole glass window bridge be kind of cool going to need some one by one flats um, inverse version forwards like this 
to repeat the same thing on this side. And then we want some one by ones at the front there. And then we want our slope. There we go. Like so. And there we go. Uh, bridge is nice and panoramic. And we have an air seal. If you want to make it a little more interesting looking, you can look at decorating the interior either chamfer off the corners or you can play around with a block like this with a bit more of a an interesting design There. Um, yeah. There. We could um, we'll leave that for a moment. There. And now, as you can see, we've got a more interesting design for the bridge. And if we want to fill that seat sort of section in there, we can jump across to the light armor slope and select our good friend yeah that gives us a more interesting design for the interior of our bridge these doors won't be on the automatic system these are let's get on the exterior and have a look now at the front. So that's our front so far. Now, if you don't like that, what you can do is you can place that design with something a little more interesting. This is half the fun of Space Engineers, is iterating on a concept, trying to get something that might work. Could, if you wanted to, cut those out, or... might want to try something like this. What you have to remember is to look for air seals. Some blocks don't seal properly. This one has. So fun of this is working on your design trying to think how can I make this look different so that immediately takes away some of the boxiness of the ship and gives it a more interesting look and we get away with anything along here like this maybe not is there any other block and what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just using the simpler blocks to 
for it. Working through this in my head. And again, it's a more interesting design and it takes away the idea that the ship is a a box. Want to, you can echo that at the top. You can either echo it here, or you can take it up one story. What I want to do, whether I want it to. mirror that or whether or not I want to try a different thing Bear in mind, of course, that we removed the antenna. So, putting the antenna back is a necessary step. And honestly, I kind of like the idea of having the antenna there. You can see, though, from this design, it's looking different already. And you can build um, with symmetry mode if you want. But you won't be able to do that in survival leave that as it is. Um, I could greebly that a bit there like that. Very interesting. You can see the cockpit or the bridge now on this ship. Looks a lot more interesting than it did previously. We've left ourselves quite a bit of room here to play around as well with detailing and also to start looking at the way this ship is going to appear in terms of its aesthetic. Now here it's sort of given it a natural point where I could put two of these blocks. Like so, to get rid of that boxiness, or block out one of the windows if I put these blocks in. The inverse corner um, blocks are always quite good and they match up quite nicely 
with the overall design. And it really is down now to just placing blocks how you sort of think they might want to go. So you've got a lot of the interior systems in place. And my advice is when you're doing a ship like this, um, work backwards or forwards basically work from one end of the ship to the other when you're going to start looking at detailing it you've probably seen pictures i put up of the callisto 71 i started at the cockpit and i worked all the way down that ship till i got to the back what am i going to do with the back of this well i'm probably going to build some engine cowlings around this lot for a start and i might also just add some detail where I can on the overall ship by using the half block design that created the whole bands that you see on the Callisto 71. Here, if we wanted to go up like this, And like this, we'd need to replace this block. Now, this block and this block do not cause a problem with breaching into the ship at all. So we could put any of the blocks. Um, do I want to use this? Let's have a look at put any of the blocks in there that the square block there said half the, the fun of this is working out what you need actually a square block there it up like that a lot of these designs can be very reminiscent of uh, the uh, lunar module the LEM and if you look at the LEM sort of design work but there you go this has taken the front of that ship now does not look like a box it looks more interesting. It's starting to resemble a starship. And you heard me talking about the uh, detailed bands on the Callisto 71. If I just save this off. What I did for that is if I go to here and we drop in to our light arm slope. Um, best way of doing this is I used the half light armor blocks and we're going to put down the right bumper, tap down on the D-pad um, just to really make this stand out briefly. Um, this demonstration so it use these half light blocks here all I did for the Callisto 71 drop some of these on to the hole just going to use a small demonstration of this and then <clears throat> excuse me 
I went to our friend here, half sleuth. Popped it there like that, and then I put some other half slopes in. Like This. There is, if I remember right. Take me a moment to find it, because... You can either leave it like that, or you can pop in a half-slope corner light armour. Like so. And there is some detail. On your ship. And we could continue that down round on the underside, but obviously I don't want to put that kind of detailing on yet. Leave that kind of detailing till you've worked all the way down from your bridge to your engines and bear in mind that what you want to do as well is you want to make sure that you leave space with your thrusters because you don't want thrusters impacting any of the blocks because with thruster damage on it will tear your ship apart but there is our ice Bridge uh, would be nice if Space Engineers without mods featured some more doodads and greebling that you could put on the bridge, like panels and so on. That would be really cool. Maybe we'll get that in a, a future update. Be nice with some functional panels as well, so they weren't just cosmetic. I think that will do for this one. I've shown you a little demonstration on how hydrogen fuel moves from tank to tank and also how to take what was once a simple Space Engineers cockpit and turn it into something more interesting. Hopefully you've picked up some tips from this one to make your own ships look less box-like, as I see a lot of people complaining on the Facebook group and on the various places on my channel. It can be done. You've just got to experiment. And um, I will catch you in the next one. Uh, we've got a lot of interesting things coming with Space Engineers. Obviously, when the next update hits, I will be doing a series of videos going through each individual um, part the free update changes and of course the paid DLC until then though stay safe, take care, have fun enjoy the game I do believe there is a question and answer coming next week from Keen to do with the next Warfare update that's all from me bye for now